Yo, what is up everyone? Oscar here with a new video. Before we get into it though, I'd like to remind you all to like this video, subscribe to my channel, share this video, and turn on post notifications so that way you guys know when I drop a new video. So let's get into it. And today I'm going to give you guys the keys to the game for the Washington football team versus the New York Giants. And I will give you guys um, my final score prediction on how the game could end. So... All right, so the first key, and like I said, I'm going to do this, I'm going to try to be organized, and I'm going to do this offensively and defensively, and then special teams last. So let's let's do the offense first. First key, um, offensive line needs to protect Kyle Allen. And, you know, Dallas, um, you know, we saw what the offensive line was, was going to be able to do with... Um, you know, against Dallas, uh, they were able to give Kyle Allen time. He was able to do his reads right, get the ball out of his hands, you know, hand it to Antonio Gibson. Antonio Gibson had big runs. So our offensive line play is important. Like I said, um, you know, the Giants the Giants don't have pass rush, but, for, for, but somehow, you know, Marcus Williams and, you know, others were able to get back there when the uh when Washington faced uh, the Giants the last time so our offensive line has to play better so that way for our next key Kyle Allen can play better and the next key is Kyle Allen feed Antonio Gibson and Terry McLaurin and even Logan Thomas the ball you know feed our feed the key players because like I said in the Dallas game Washington was able to feed their key players, and when they did that, they were able to win the game. So, feed key players the ball. Third key on offense, Kyle Allen. Do not turn over the football. You know, against the Giants, that is the, the one of the reasons why Washington lost. Kyle, we lost the turnover battle. Why? Kyle Allen fumbled when we were on on the way of scoring a touch, um, some points. Maybe, I don't know if it was going to be a field goal or touchdown, but... Point is, we were on our way to score a touchdown um, on that drive. Second, and then that interception, we were approaching midfield, and then of course, um, you know, we gave that football away, and the Giants were made Washington pay by by scoring um, off of those turnovers. So, Kai Allen, do not turn over the football, so that way the Giants don't give have opportunities to score. Um, that is it for the, oh, and, and of course, score first. Our offense needs to score first. We were, again, we were able to do it for the, to the Cowboys, but that was the first time, let me, I think it was like the first time in 10 plus games, I want to say, where Washington did not have a lead heading into the half. So they did not have a lead heading into the half for the first, um, with the exception of the Cowboys game in 10 games. And, of course, with, with that Cowboys game, they were able to um, not continue that stretch. So, Washington needs to score first. Kyle Allen can't turn over the football. And then Kyle Allen um, cannot uh, or should, you know, feed Antonio Gibson the ball. And our offensive line needs to play like they played against Dallas. Um, give Kyle Allen some time. And then our offense will have success. Uh, defensively, all right, defensively, all right, it is given, and I've seen, you know, different giant YouTubers say this, that it is a given that Danny Jones, Daniel Jones, will have to turn over the football at least once, um, Chase Young did not, you know, play up to par in that Giants game, in my opinion, so if he can get back there somehow, again, the... Yes, the Giants' offensive line is is getting better, but you know there's they're still not you know good enough to to you know contain Montez Sweat, contain um, Chase Young, contain Ryan Kerrigan. You know that that front seven is still you know mean and nasty. Cole Holcomb had a breakout game, so Cole Holcomb you know sent, made a statement in my opinion against the Dallas Cowboys. So. If he can make that, you know, continue to make that statement with Giants, you know, this defense will be, you know, very good. Our secondary is, you know, it's improving. 
Kendall Fuller, you know, is is the you know, in my opinion, the the reason why the secondary is getting better. He's able to have he had interceptions in the games that he has played every game. So, you know, if that can um well actually I, I apologize. He didn't have a turnover against Dallas, but um you know, he's you know, a a game changer on the defense. So that secondary I'm surprised that our secondary our passing defense is in first place, but um, our defense just needs to, you know, make plays, you know, force Daniel Jones to turn over the football. He did not turn it over as much as I would, you know, as much as, you know, fans and, and I would have liked to, but um, that, that's the thing. Defense needs to get to Daniel Jones so that way he can get those to those mistakes, you know, sack Daniel Jones. Again, it is bound to happen. He is going to turn over the football at least once. So... Um, and of course our defense can, you know, set up our offense, um, with good field position. That is, you know, a key right there. Next key, um, our defense can't give, give up the big plays. Um, again, Washington didn't do it against Dallas, but they did it against New York. Um, they let Daniel Jones run for, I think it was like, what, 50, 60 yards, um, the, the last time they played, so... You know, Washington cannot, you know, the defense cannot give up good big plays. Um, the Giants, you know, Slayton is a good wide receiver. Sterling Shepard is, 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 you know, coming off of injury, but he's, you know, he's good. Again, the defense needs to shut down those um, wide receivers. The Giants don't have a run game, so, you know, um, ho- well, actually, I take that back. If Devontae Freeman plays, then we obviously need to stop the run, but, um. Other than that, the Giants don't have a run game, but um, defense needs to stop the run. You know, limit the big play so that way, you know, our offense can get the ball back, good field position, along with either turnovers or punt returns. Speaking of punt returns, special teams, Dustin Hopkins, make your field goals and make your extra points. You have missed field goals and you missed extra points in. The last game against the Giants, the reason, well, in my opinion, the reason why Ron Rivera went for two was because, you know, you missed a field goal earlier. You have a habit of, you had the habit of missing extra points this season. So make extra points and make extra, make the field goals. And then Ron Rivera will not have to, you know, make decisions like that, like going for two and, you know, um, going for it on fourth down in the red zone. So make your field goals, make your extra points. And also kick the ball off right because the reason why Dallas were able to score points, or the the three the three points that they that they scored, was because you know you kicked the ball off wrong, um, and the the Dallas Cowboys, you know, were able to make a good kickoff return. So we cannot have that happen again. Um, so to sum up, offense, get off to a fast start. Offensive line needs to play better. Feed your key players. And Kyle Allen, don't turn over the football. Because, again, um, we turned over the football twice. All all Kyle Allen's fault. And that led to Giants points. Um, defensively, get to Danny Jones. Force turnovers. Force sex. Um, limit the big plays from the, his their wide receivers and their running backs. And then, of course, special teams, Dustin Hopkins makes field goals, Dustin, point, Dustin Hopkins makes extra points, and Dustin Hopkins don't make, uh, you know, bad kickoffs. And, of course, Trustway, you know, th- that is the only guy that I that I trust, um, especially, um, in this, you know, he's a good punter. Um, good news for Washington, it looks like Steven Sims will be back, so that lo- that'll be good. Um, Washington will... Um, uh, Kyle Allen will have another weapon to throw to. He has been throwing to Logan Thomas and um, Tara McLaurin the last few weeks. And, of course, Antonio Gibson and J.D. McKissick. So, if, you know, add Steven Simpson mix, then our offense should be fine. Um, so, that is it for me. Um, I say, the last time the Giants won 20-19, to 
it was 20 to 13 until Kyle Allen and Washington were able to score that that touchdown. So, um, you know, it was that close. I say another close game. Washington, Washington, the Giants 0-1 to Washington. And Washington's coming off their bye, so they had extra time to prepare, get healthy. I say Washington wins this. This time, 23 to 20. 23 to 20. Hopefully, Dustin Hopkins has a bounce back a game. You know, he, he had extra time to, to think about um, what happened, what went wrong. So, uh, Washington wins 23 to 20. Final score. Um, like I said, like this video, subscribe to my channel, share this video. Um, so, I decided that I will do. So, this video is going up on YouTube here in a few minutes. Um, I'm going to do my post-game reaction to Washington um, after the game, you know, wraps up, after the game goes final. Um, the Real Madrid post-game reaction, it'll either happen late Sunday night or Monday morning. Let me know what you guys prefer because, again, I, I would love to get feedback from, from you guys. Um, let me know what you guys prefer if I either do a post-game reaction late, you know, Sunday night for Real Madrid or Monday morning. So, that is it for me. Um, Alright guys, That I will see you guys next time. Peace.